Hey, welcome back to another Maralis video. My name is Bharat and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about our newly launched token Snipers API and how you can use it to find snipers for any pair on EVM and Solana. So let's get started. So I'm just going to start with a quick overview of uh, what exactly are snipers. And if you're new to this, you can basically follow along. So essentially snipers are basically automated programs or bots that buy into a particular token like right after it was created. And as you can see, like this is just showing a chart where a sniper bot basically got into a token. And you can see that it got in like right after the token creation. And the opportunity that these bots basically have is that right after a token is deployed, they can get into a token like right before it pumps. So they get in on extremely low prices even before somebody has a chance to like open their laptop, head over to the decks and go trade it. So that's where the uh, snipers basically have an opportunity. And uh, I'm going to show you how you can find out these snipers for a given uh, token or a pair address on both EVM and Solana chains and uh, what all data you get and basically what analysis you can do on top of that data. So basically for every sniper, you're going to get the data on when they got into a particular token, when did they sell, which means you can compute profits, the USD values. You can find out like the top profitable sniper bots and uh, when they actually got in, you can do like a whole lot of analysis on that. And I'm going to show you how you could actually get started to do all of this by just using our snipers API. And our Snipers API is going to be part of the token API. And as you can see right here, we have a whole lot of features on the token API and we keep shipping new stuff every day. And as you see, we have token prices, transfers, balances, etc. And you see Snipers right here. So I'm going to show you how you can use this to get all the Snipers. So if you uh, want to follow along, you can just log in right here. And as soon as you have set up your Morales account, you'll be able to see your units, compute unit usage, your API key, etc. So now you can just copy your API key and head over to documentation. So our docs is available at docs.morales.com. So that's where you'll find the uh, reference for any of our APIs. And since our Sniper's API is live on both EVM and Solana, you can just access it by going either to EVM or Solana. I'm going to show you both, but I'm going to start with the EVM API. So as soon as you have selected EVM API, just click on token API here and uh, then click on token snipers. So there you can basically see, or you could just use this menu here. So there you can see you get snipers by pair address and to access the method documentation, you can just click on this. And as you see right here, you can get all snipers, which are essentially wallets, which quickly buy sell tokens for a given pair address. And in this example, I have a sample pair address already. And if you want to see more data about what this uh, pair address represents, like which token, how much liquidity there is, etc., you can just quickly copy the pair address and open this uh, token pair stats API. So once you're here, you can just paste in the pair address and test live API. So once you test live API, you're going to get the response right here. You can basically see it represents this token called flock. And you can see when this pair was created. So it was created on 27th Jan. And uh, you can see the pair label, the pair address. You can see like the price percent change, the buy sells, all of that for this particular pair. And now if you want to get snipers for this particular pair, we can do it with this particular API that we just saw. So get snipers by pair address essentially lets you put in a pair address, select a chain. And basically once you have set the blocks after creation, it's going to search for snipers within that particular uh, block uh, creation window, which means that you're going to get the snipers that bought this particular, uh, bought into this particular pair address within the first three blocks of this pair creation. So what you can do right now uh, to test this out is you can just uh, paste in your API key here so that we can run this on terminal uh, so that it's more clearer for us. So I'm just going to copy my API key again from this. I'm going to paste this right here. You can see I got the curl uh, snippet. So I'm just going to open a new terminal window. And uh, let me just bring it here. Yep, there we go. Cool. So I'm just going to run this API and there you go. You got the response. So if we try to understand what exactly this API response is, I'm just going to take a sample uh, uh, sample data entry from this. So as you can see right here, 
this is the address of the sniper bot you can see the snipe transactions right here so it's done only one snipe transaction but as you see from this it's basically sniped it right after the block uh after the pair was created so if you wanted to like try uh, check out this transaction just copy the transaction hash and uh, open up etherscan so i'm just going to open this up and i'm going to put this uh transaction right here so there you go you can basically see this was the transaction and you can see this person has basically swapped this much eth for flock and this is basically a sniper bot which uh, did this particular transaction so if you go further into this you can see when the sniper bot also sold so you can see that the sell transactions you can see it sold like 19 19 blocks after the pair was created which means in just 18 blocks it was able to do a buy transaction as well as a sell transaction and you can see like the data about how much money it made as well so if you look at this uh, it has actually sniped 55000 uh let me just minimize this so you can see it has basically sniped uh 55 554k tokens of uh, the flock token so that's what you see right here uh, and you can see how much uh, tokens it has sold so which means that it looks like it's still holding a lot of these and if you look at this uh, you can see the current balance like after it sold it and what's the value of the uh, USD value of the uh, current USD ba current balance of the tokens and if you look at this surprisingly this sniper bot has actually made a loss it has actually uh, made a loss of around 62 percent and you can see like the realized profit is also negative which indicates like this bot made a loss usually like the bots that snipe early make a lot of profit but uh, let's try to find something over here which actually made a profit so there we go so if you look at this particular sniper bot this wallet address has actually sniped again uh, right after the token pair was created and you can see like it's sold uh, pretty soon as soon as well because it's sold on the 18th block and 53rd block after the pair creation and the total sell transactions right here uh, it tells you that these were the two transactions you can see total snipe transactions which was this one you can also get the sniped usd value uh, token uh, uh, total token sold so what this has actually done is it just bought for seven dollars apparently it is sold for like $60 and as you see right here the profit percentage is like 666 percent and but the USD profit value is actually less because the invested amount was just uh, $7 but this is still pretty good uh, for a sniper bot I mean uh, so yeah so this is essentially how you can get all of the sniper bot uh, data and how you can find the snipers for a given pair address so what we just saw now was uh, for getting the sniper data on EVM. So I'm just going to go back to that. And uh, you can do the same for any Solana token as well. So if you want to retrieve like uh, the uh, snipers by pair address using the Solana API, I'm going to show you that uh, as well soon. But what this essentially means is that you can do a whole lot of analysis with this particular data you can basically find out for a particular token which were the most profitable sniper bots when did they buy when did they sell and uh, which tokens got uh, have the most snipers essentially if you wanted to do all of this analysis you could just use this api to get the data and you could definitely do a whole lot of analysis with it and also if you're building like sniper bots or something it's really useful because uh, you could get notified whenever uh, let's say uh, there has been some sniper activity on a particular token etc so that's on the evm uh, api for snipers and now i'm going to go over to the solana api so you can just click on this to switch between evm and solana otherwise to see the full list of apis you can just click on solana api and you get like the full list of apis right here so now that we're here on snipers by pair address on solana let's basically try finding the snipers for this particular pair address and I'm going to find out more about this token as well. So I'm just going to open this uh, get token pair stats and I'm going to put in the pair address right here and let's hit test live API. There you go. So you got that this pair address represents one MDB investment fund token, which is apparently a meme coin, which was created here. So 
let's copy the token address and actually try to check this out on morales.com so you can just head over to morales.com and uh, as you can see right here you get like all data about various tokens you can find out trending tokens which are pumping and you can get like whole lot of data on all of these tokens so it basically shows you like all of our apis in action by just heading over here and now you can paste the pair uh, token address and there we go we got the 1mdb investment fund token so you can see the transactions holders uh, the price charts all of that and this is actually pretty cool because uh, a lot of the times the top holders are usually snipers like especially for tokens which were created on pump fun or something if you find out the snipers for it and try to look at the holders usually it's like the snipers which hold a lot of the token supply so now coming back to our uh, token uh, snipers api so i'm just gonna go back here and uh, you can see the blocks after creation window represents uh, how many blocks after the pair creation we're going to look for the sniper activity so let's just click on test live api now here and you will be able to see the response however if you want to see this more clearer let me just open this up on my terminal again so there we go yep so there we go we got the uh, sniper data activity right here and if you look at like a sample uh, snipe transaction you can see this is the wallet address of the sniper bot and you can see this was the transaction that it just did to snipe and since we have set the window to thousand it's going to look for uh let me just minimize this it's going to look for the uh, snipe transactions within a thousand block window so this particular transaction happened after the after 550 blocks after the pair was created and uh, you can see right here that this was the transaction to sell and you can see all of the data about the sniper uh, you can basically see how many sell transactions they did how much tokens were initially sn uh, sniped and how much profit they basically made you can see this one has actually uh, just made 68 uh, percent and it just and has made like a seven dollar profit on their initial investment and if you look at how much was the initial investment it's actually eleven dollars so uh yep so essentially they've uh put in 11 and got 19 which is actually pretty good 68 percent in just uh in just like a couple of uh hours probably so you can again do a lot of these uh, analysis on these particular tokens to find out all the sniper activity on both the uh, EVM and Solana pair tokens. So if you found this video interesting, feel free to drop your thoughts on the chat. And if you want to build some cool things like sniper bots, or if you're do just doing some analysis on these uh, tokens with the sniper's API, feel free to drop your thoughts on this suggestion and I'll be sure to check it out and reply to it. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching. See you in the next one.